recently I was drying a lot of oranges and uh, I decided to go ahead and make some of my candied orange peels to use to play with at home top ice cream with them and things like that so let's take a look so I've got all my washed orange peels and I'm just going to trim off the pith or the bitter white part and reserve the zest I'm going to leave these in fairly large strips too Gonna add enough water to cover these and throw them on the burner. Bring that up to a boil. Add a little black pepper, some kosher salt, some cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg. Oh, and I had some ginger there too. A little bit of sugar. Bring that up to a boil and reduce and let that simmer for a few minutes. And then I'll strain that. And we'll do that all over again. I like to do this twice. So in a bowl I've got some sugar, some of my vanilla scented sugar, some vanilla scented powdered sugar. Got this boiling again and we'll reduce that. A little bit of cinnamon, some nutmeg. There's some of the orange slices drying. I'm going to add some more sugar to this second batch. I've strained the orange pieces out of there and I'm just reducing that syrup. I've got these padded dry and I've added them to the sugar mix. And we'll just toss those to coat. And let those dry on some paper towels. In restaurant work I'll dry that over like the griddle on a shelf over the griddle so it because it's so hot they just dry but I'll let them air dry at home or throw them in the dehydrator and there's the reduced syrup try that on some pancakes or ice cream and enjoy the orange peel so there you have its candied orange peels a uh, good one for just like an after dinner little snack uh, these come out a little different than I do in the restaurants because in restaurants I can usually dry them on top of the stovetop or the griddle and they come out a lot drier, crispier, quicker too. But I hope you give these a try. Until next time, thanks for watching.